In this video, we're going to be tying a little tarpon fly called the tarpon toad. It's one of the most popular tarpon flies right now down in Florida. And we're going to be tying it in chartreuse, but you can tie this in a lot of different colors. Black and purple is another real popular color. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a little short piece of zonkered rabbit strip. Now when you first get this rabbit strip, a lot of times they'll come uh, curled or uh, mangled in your package. First thing you do is you take the rabbit strip and you stretch it. That'll straighten out the uh, piece of leather on the bottom. Then the next thing to do if the hair on the rabbit strip is crooked or uh, lays weird, uh, almost all the time they come in a package like this and they'll be kind of crooked or basically they have a bad hair day. You just lick your fingers a little bit and stroke the fibers into the position that you want just like you would uh, your hair or something like that. You can also add a little bit of water and that'll straighten out uh, that fiber or those fibers so you get a nice little straight piece of zonkered rabbit strip. Now the toad fly, one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they tie it too big. Uh, we're going to be tying it on a one-aught uh, owner, Aki, and we want the tail of this toad fly to be pretty short, only about uh, twice the length of that uh, shank. So I'm going to trim this so that it is about that size. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that piece of rabbit strip we're going to tie it in at the very back here by the little piece of leather. And we want to make sure that we don't go too far back on the shank of the hook. We want it to be right at the bend. So I'm going to tie it in there right at the bend. Now the next thing we do, we need to do is we need to prevent this rabbit strip from fouling. So what the originator of the toad fly did was he actually took his thread and he wrapped around this rabbit strip with the thread. And you creep up this rabbit strip. You can see there I'm building kind of a little thread base. And what that does is you can see it props that rabbit strip uh, right up off the bend of the hook. and you can make it a little more sturdy just by doing a few more wraps and uh, how far you wrap up is kind of dependent on how long your rabbit strip is since we have a fairly short rabbit strip we don't need to go too far up we just need to keep it at that upward angle just like that now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some marabou I'm going to take some extra select marabou I'm going to use just the tips of the marabou and what I'm going to do is tie in uh, a little bit of feathers on the bottom and then also on the top. And we want this to be about half of the length of the tail. We don't want it to be too long. We don't want it to engulf the fly. So I'm going to tie those on the bottom. And then we're also going to tie some on the top. Now you can see we get some nice sparse coverage. This fly, you really have to be careful that you don't uh, add too much marabou and you don't tie it too bulky. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to clean up this marabou a little bit. We need a nice smooth base to start tying the body. So I just take my thread and I just build up a nice smooth ramp and base for the body. And for the body we're going to use some EP fibers. I'm going to cut them into little short sections. A little two inch sections or so. We're going to tie these in right on top of the fly here. And the first one could be a little bit more difficult to get started. You don't want it to get caught in your marabou. And we're going to use basically X wraps to secure it into place.
and we're just going to continue to do this working our way forward on the fly once you get that first one done then it becomes a little bit easier if you're tying this in purple and black you can use purple marabou and purple rabbit and then use black for your EP fiber both colors are very very effective the chartreuse color is probably the most popular and also the color I think that was initially developed Usually you can get about four sections in. Sometimes you can get five in if you have a larger fly. So there's four sections. Now, next thing we need to do is trim the body. And I want to peel all those fibers away from the marabou. And a good little trick to keep them separate for the short term is you can just lick your fingers and lay back that marabou and it'll help keep it out of the way. And I like to trim the body kind of at a backward angle. And I try to match it on each side. If you have any extra EP fibers, some long ones, you can trim those out. And then the last thing to do, show you the body there, you can kind of see how I have the backward sloping cut there. Now the last thing to do is to tie the eyes. I use a pair of large monofilament eyes in black. I basically tie these right up at the front of the fly using the same X wraps that I used for the EP fiber. And once you get those tied in you can whip finish. You are essentially finished with the fly. You want to make sure you get those eyes as centered as you can. There we go. Then the last thing I always like to do is super glue everything. I use a little bit of Zappa Gap brush on super glue. 
I mainly super glue up near the eyes and the entire underside of the fly as well where I have all those exposed thread wraps. And also the thread wraps right on top of the eye. If you really want extra durability you can get down on top of those X wraps on the top of the fly. And that is essentially the toad fly. You can see here not a very large fly. A lot of people think this fly is uh, larger than it actually is. You can see how that tail kind of props up uh, off of the body. That's exactly what we want. It'll help keep it from fouling because we have that little stiff uh, portion of thread near the back. But uh, the fly is much smaller than people think. It's only about uh, two and a half inches in uh, total length. So a lot smaller than people think it is. Uh, some of these big tarpon in the Florida Keys uh, have gotten very picky over the last few years and the guides down there are using smaller and uh, smaller flies and the toad is one of those flies that they're using down there in smaller sizes and you can find all the materials to tie this fly on our website in the riffle.com if you're watching this via YouTube there's a link right below this video that you can follow to our website there you'll find the recipe information uh, as well as all the materials to uh, tie the fly and that is the tarpon toad